Well, I thought I'd make a little video on how I do my pids. So I got two new birds that I built, one with the uh, Motolab Tempest and one with the uh, Omnibus F4. So I'm going to rip uh, the Omnibus F4 real quick on a pack and uh, just get the feel for it. I've already put in, because I had another Omnibus that was perfect to me. As some other people might say you needed some more I or you needed some more D. I don't really care. Or I needed more Expo. It was perfect for me. So I'm going to uh, fly it around, confirm it. Um, I've already put my uh, my PIDs in it um, that I like for this airframe. I'm flying the the Martian Alien clone. And uh, today I'm going to be tuning my quad with... Let me get it up. easy gooey ground station on my phone so that's how I usually do all my tunings I used to carry my laptop out but ever since I found this app this is like the best app ever so here we go I'm gonna fly the first one and then uh, we'll see how it goes so I'll lay you down here ah. Right off the bat, I can feel that the uh, the eyes are off. So once I did that punch up, she kind of wanted to wander around on me there. These feel good because I didn't get any bounce back from that roll. So, and no bounce back from that, but the eyes feel like they could come up a smidge. And that's motor dropping out. I don't know what that is. I think that might be a loose prop. We'll find out in a second. Let's do a slight eye adjustment. And then um, once we change those eyes, I'm going to put a fresh pack in and then we'll try the exact same, not the exact same run because I can't reapply that again. I'm not like the Randy Rhodes of freaking quadding, but um, I'll fly that one more time. Uh, the, the same little area here, same kind of maneuvers, forward flip, roll, left and right roll, uh, reverse flip and uh, see, how, uh, see how I like it then. Once you change your PIDs, and it's the two screens over, you just swipe over two screens, upload it to the bird, all that data gets saved, and uh, you should be good there. So I'm going to see how she flies now with a fresh pack. And now I'm going to be running the Infinity Graphenes on this one. So. And hopefully this will be the last tune I got to do on it. This is actually the first tune I've ever done on it. I flew it around in my uh, my driveway a couple of times, but uh, back and forth in my my neighborhood, up and down the street, but didn't really rip too hard. Just a couple of quick 180s, and she felt good there. So we'll see. We got wind out here, so every time I get up above that tree line, 
I'm sorry, I'm out of the camera. But uh, every time I get up above the tree line, I run into the wind, and that's what I think is causing the dip out because the eye isn't, the eye on roll wasn't high enough to maintain the position. So we'll see if it does it now. And I find it's better to tune on a windy day. If you tune on a windy day and you're stable in a windy day, you're going to be stable in a non windy day. So if you have the choice, if you have the ability, and you have the chance, tune on a windy day. And you should get used to flying in the wind anyway. I hate people that are like, oh, it's too windy to fly. It's really windy today, and the wind's only kicking at like 25 miles an hour. I'm like, Psh, that's nothing. Move to the mountains. Welcome to Open TX. Start my DVR recording in case I crash. And here we go. ESC drop out there, so I'm gonna have to swap an ESC eventually, if not like soon. Now it feels like the roll eye could come up a little bit. So I'm going to do that real quick before I burn this battery off so I can use more of this battery. I'm gonna bring up that roll eye. So, where did I put the cord? Plugging it back in. Connecting, connected, air mode is off. Well, it should have been. So pitch I'm going to bring up to... Pitch I'm going to bring up somewhere like 57. It was at 54, so I'm going to bring it up. Meh, I'll go to 58. I'll go up 4. And then uh, D's seem good except on my pitch. Actually, no, my D's seem good there. And my P's on roll feel like they could come up just a tad bit. So. And I'm going to bring those up just a little bit more. And that feels good. Send that to the board.
D is too low. Way too low. Pitch D is way super low, so I'm gonna bring that up. Connecting. Connected. Air mode is off. Disconnected. Feels like the like the roll D is a little low. It's gonna be my last pack of the day. Because I'm all out of batteries. I need to buy some new batteries. If anybody out there wants to sponsor me and send me some batteries, that'd be cool. I'd be totally happy with that. I don't care what batteries it is. Just as long as they don't blow up on me. Catch my house on fire. I'm happy. Connecting. Connected. Yeah! <laughs> 
solid. Solid as a rock. I just gotta remember not to land in uh, air mode. <laughs> ah, there we go. Got a cable in the way. All right, tuning session complete, in my opinion. Uh, this one feels solid as shit. Uh, the other one is gonna take a little bit. I gotta do some work on it. Um, I really think what's going on is I just have a dead ESC that's dropping out as I'm flying it. So I'll get it all set up and get it all working, and then we'll be good to go. So tune in later. Rotor porn. Oh, yeah, and uh, if you like what you saw today, and if I helped you out at all, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you want me to do more videos where I show a craft setup or a build or something like that, let me know. All right? And if you got free stuff, send me some free stuff. I like free stuff. Free stuff's cool. Thank you.